Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Today I thought I'd talk about hair and I don't talk about hair that much, although funnily enough I think I probably have more high maintenance hair than I do skin. Um, it's just that I've kind of worked out what works for me. Let's start off by describing my hair which is <laughs> probably 50% grey now. I've been going grey since I was about 26 so over half my life and I ha colour my own roots because I've done a vlog about it below testing my routine and regime out of my sister who was a willing guinea pig so I could talk about it and do it at the same time and then two or three times a year I go into a salon and have it professionally sort of colour corrected but basically I have the back done and things like that and then I have a little bit of balayage to make it look lighter but I battle with slightly frizzy fluffy hair but not in that attractive lots of way but just in a sort of slightly unusual if I tell you my hair peaked around the time that Banana Rama around. And if you're a millennial and you have to Google Banana Rama, lucky you. But basically that was the year my hair peaked, which is sort of just a bit messy and a bit crimpy and a bit sort of fluffy and a bit uneven and a bit bleh, basically. It's not the texture you want at all. So I have a Brazilian blow dry twice a year with a genius man called Zoltan. And I'll put the link below to him. He does pop-ups in London. And I think he's the only person in the whole of the UK that just does texture. He doesn't cut, he doesn't color, he just creates texture within hair. So he does amazing perms, amazing straightening, amazing professional full permanent straightening. And he also does Brazilian blow dries. And I have a Brazilian blow dry with him uh, twice a year and it just takes the fluff and frizz out of my hair. So that essentially I can do this, which is sort of rough dry it really. I've blow dried the fringe and I've blow dried a little bit into this, but it just sort of takes the fluff and the kink out of my hair. But I wanted to talk about some products that I've used recently that I think if you've got dry, dehydrated, damaged, or coloured hair, and if you blow dry your hair quite a lot, like I do, then they prevent it from splitting, they hydrate it, they make sure it doesn't look too straw-like on the ends, they give a little bit of shine, because that's not too bad a shine for a blonde. Um, let me just dive in and tell you what I've been using. Okay, so the first thing is Joico K-Pack Colour Therapy. And the fact that these look such a mess, and as you can see, I have literally squeezed every last drop out of this because I loved it so much. Now, I use masks every time I wash my hair. I wash my hair three times a week. And I use a mask because my hair is so dehydrated, it, it can take it. I put it on from here, down. It completely detangles my hair. It makes it easier to blow dry so that you don't need to put so much product in it because I don't really like product in my hair when I blow dry it. And this one is K-Pak Color Therapy Luster Log. And it's the best mask I've used from Joico. Joico in quite a while and I really love it. It, um, it essentially is formulated for damaged coloured hair and I just found it added shine, it added control, it got rid of flyaways, um, it didn't smell too bad, you know sometimes they, no it's sort of white floral, it doesn't smell too sort of kids chewy sweetie, that sort of smell, I don't like that sort of sickly vanilla -y, fruity smell. This was much more elegant than that and I really liked it. Now talking of products that work really well, for an everyday conditioner, I really liked um, Whey Smooth Conditioner, which is completely empty as well and emptied every last drop out. Now I met Jen Atkin, who is most famous probably for being the Kardashian hairstylist, although she originally trained with Guido um, and she does Chanel shows and everything. She's incredible. Anyway, lovely lady. She's brought a range over here called Way, and this is without a doubt my favorite product in the range and it's the smoothing conditioner, smooth conditioner. And it smells, it's without a doubt, the best smelling hair product I've ever used. Now what's interesting is not all the products from Way smell the same way. That is how you pronounce it by the way. Oh my God, that is like a fine fragrance. Jen Atkin, if you're watching this, make this into a candle, make this into a hair scent, make this into a body scent. It's amazing. Again, elegant white flower, but not too floral, green sort of oh, sexy dry down. The best smelling hair product I have ever used in my life. And actually it left just enough so that every time you shook your hair afterwards, you got this gorgeous waft of proper full on mossy, gorgeous, sexy Shepra scent. Way to go, Jen. Love it. Right, let's talk about things that are far less sexy. My sensitive scalp. 
Sorry, I've just dropped that on the floor. I tell it like it is. I own it. No filters, no, no face tune, but sadly, yes, dandruff. Um, I think I've worked out actually that when I was younger, my dandruff was quite often hormonal, but I think as I get older, it's related to coloring my hair. And I've worked out that when I smudge my own roots, because obviously it gets on your scalp, two or three days later, my scalp gets irritated and sore, and then it starts shedding. But I managed to find something to prevent it doing that. Now I've talked about dandruff shampoos before, and the fact that dandruff shampoos can be incredible, nice or all works, but it ruins your hair. So you kind of put off using it because you think, oh God, it's gonna, my hair's gonna be fluff, fluffy and fly away and dehydrated and horrible after I use it. Not with the Kerastars scalp range. So they have, look, I mean, I don't know if you can see this properly. The hard water in London is disgusting. I mean, this is, covered in sort of hard water scum it no wonder our hair's a mess in london so this is the kerastar specific there's bam vital dermo calm which i used preventatively to and i just used it all the time i mean how long did it take me to get through that probably six weeks eight weeks i did not have a single breakout of dandruff while i was using this and it was a pleasure to use it cleansed, it didn't overstrip my hair, but I've got slightly oily roots. It was just a great everyday shampoo or three times a week shampoo to use. And then when I did break out, I used their Ban anti pelliculaire While using that, I didn't need to. It was only after I stopped using that, that I needed to use that. And finally, I'm going to mention a blow dry cream because I mentioned earlier that I don't really like blow dry products. I don't like mousse. I understand it makes my hair look, and hairdressers love to use it on my hair because I've got fine hair and they love it because it gives it a bit of body. I just don't like that stickiness. The other day I was testing those volumizing sprays and I loved the look of it, but I woke up in the morning and my hair just felt dirty. I just like sort of silky clean hair and I don't care if it looks fine. I'd rather have it look fine and natural and be touchable and clean. I don't really like many hairstyling products to be honest which is why I love a leave-in blow-dry cream because I just use it on the ends to stop that sort of split end effect, dry, straw-like effect that I can get with my hair. And this is the best one I've used in ages. This is L'Oreal Professional Pro Keratin Refill. And I'm going to try and find out where you can get it from because I have a sneaking suspicion L'Oreal might be discontinuing this, which is a real pity because it's brilliant. I've got a tiny bit left because I wanted to show you how little you need on a hair, head of hair like mine. Um, it's, it's not a lot left. That would be more than enough for all of my hair. And what you do is you apply it to towel dried hair, mid lengths and ends, I even put it on the ends of my fringe. And then anything that's left over, you apply to dry hair afterwards. It's too much for me to apply to my dry hair because it is really, really hydrating. And it gives you that, now what am I gonna do with that big lump of product there? I'm gonna to have to stick it on the back of the bottle. Did not think this through, because I can't actually put that through my hair because it'll weigh my hair down. But what you do is you put it through your mid-lengths and ends, um, then you blow dry and it stops the fly away. But afterwards, you can then double dose it up and put it through the ends of your hair and it gives you that sort of choppy, slightly damp, less fly away texture, which I quite like. So I can go back and get a bit more now. You see how my hair's quite fluffy under here? It's a texture thing. Around the edges, around the border, my hair is more fluffy and fly away. So you basically put it in like that and it gives you that sort of slightly more moisturized texture and anything that's left over your hands, you just do that and it gets rid of those flyaways. It's quite heavily scented, but it does wear off. Again, it's a sort of white floral, but I quite like that look. I quite like that sort of, sort of chunky. It gives the impression of having chunkier ends and less split ends, and how can that be a bad thing, right, when you've got fine hair? So they are my mask, best smelling conditioner ever, two scalp sensitive shampoos, one of which I think works preventatively and I cannot recommend it highly enough, which is the Blue Dermo Calm from Kerastars. And then the best, in my opinion, blow dry cream for fine flyaway dry straw ends. 
Um, and I, I mean, I punish my hair, I really do. And for it to get to look like this is purely great products, trust me. It's not genetic or hereditary. Anyway, ask questions below. I will put the link to all the products that I love below and uh, tell me what you want me to do for hair because we don't, I mean, you know, we've got sort of kind of skincare sussed now. We are doing ingredients and we're doing products I love, body, face care, vitamin, retinol, you name it. But actually, what do you want to know about hair care? Because I'd be really interested. Um, I've tested a lot of things over the years and I've worked out what works for me. So let me know what you want me to do um, for hair vlogs. Anyway, thank you for watching and, um, and, and liking everything. You really are the loveliest bunch of subscribers and followers that anybody could possibly have.